Heavenly Father. Thank you for another beautiful moment to spend in prayer with you. I am giving you all my attention. I am grateful for the gift of life, sound health, and your Son, Jesus Christ, my Savior. Without you, Lord, I am nothing. But with you, I have everything, both in this life and in the one to come. Lord, hear my heart's cry as I pray from your word. I am contemplating Psalms 42, 1 to 2. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul pants for you, God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Father, this is the voice of one who yearns for you, more than anything this world has to offer, and one who you will never abandon. I ask that you ignite a burning desire for you in my heart too. I pray that you consistently keep me seeking more of you. When I ask for anything, do or say anything, let it all come together towards seeking you more and more. Your word says in Philippians 3, 8 to 9. More than that, I count all things to be loss in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them mere rubbish so that I may gain Christ and may be found in him, not having the righteousness of my own derived from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which comes from God on the basis of faith. Lord, I don't want to act like everything is fine with me when it isn't. I don't want to pretend I have everything figured out when I am confused. This is why I am making this request now. I know I will manifest the life of Jesus more when I am overwhelmed by your passion. I know I will love, forgive, learn from, serve, pray for and help others more when the fire of your passion engulfs me. Your word also says in Ephesians 3, 14 to 21. For this reason, I bend my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to all the fullness of God. Now to him, who is able to do far more abundantly, beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us. To him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Do not let me become complacent or unteachable. Don't let me become so relaxed that I stop learning from and serving you. Remove pride, fear, and anything in my life that will hinder me from running after you and the things that have to do with your kingdom. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.